Thieves hit several empty Kansas City school buildings and the damage totals thousands in taxpayer dollars. They struck Bingham Middle School just last week, but before that they hit Marlboro Elementary. That's on East 75th. Brenda Lise Gonzalez is live in the newsroom with how the school district is asking neighbors for help now. Brenda Lise? Most of the 30 empty schools around Kansas City are boarded up to prevent people from breaking in, but nothing stopping someone from walking right onto school property at any time of the day. Nestled smack in the middle of dozens of homes in this neighborhood is a piece of school history. I remember when it was open. The terracotta roof and decorative trim sets this school apart from the 21st century. It's just bad that uh, the doors and windows and all of this stuff has to be all boarded up, but that's the only way to protect it. The former elementary school has sat empty for seven years, but it's only just recently become a prime target for thieves. Within the last month, thieves broke in, stole copper, and left behind thousands of dollars worth of damage. And whoever's making a, a profit off of this, I don't think has a conscience whatsoever. Brenda Thomas lives a few blocks from the school. She and her neighbors are keeping a closer eye on the property. The sign says no trespassing, but uh, there's nobody standing there to make sure that doesn't happen. The district also wants to make sure it doesn't happen again. They're enlisting neighbors to keep watch on more than 30 vacant schools. Any suspicious activity can be reported from a cell phone through the Message Cube app. It directs all messages to the district security officers. People can make a difference. Just one phone call, one text, um, one message on the on the on the app that that can that can make the difference. So far, only a handful of people have signed up, but Thomas is spreading the word. It's my school. It's it's the the community school. The district's gotten alerts on Pershing as well. They think that it's the next target and are making sure to have extra patrols there to prevent more break-ins like the one here at Marlboro. Reporting live in the newsroom, Brenda Lise Gonzalez, 41 Action News.